show where the women are loose and the talk is even looser. Now, coming up, the boys replacing sex, drugs and rock and roll with class, sophistication and operatics in the musical world. That's Il Devo. <laughs> and escaping the trauma of the Dales for the heat of the kitchen in Soap Star Super Chef, Emmerdale and Sam Dingle. That's James Hooten is here. <laughs> Pay to go back to those days, but uh, our first guests make up two quarters of the super group that took the music world by storm just two years ago. But who'd have thought that four classically trained opera singers would end up number one pinups the world over? Well, you only have to look at this to see why. Please welcome David and Urs from Il Divo! seat away from you but it didn't work I'm very very sorry, sorry about that right. but, I'll, I'll just sit here and look <laughs> <laughs> but first of all your new album Siempre <clears throat> that's out in the shops now yeah yeah and how's it going it's going very well it's been out since November and uh, I <laughs> it's going brilliantly tell know us a little bit tell us a little bit about what's on it are all the songs in in foreign languages or are they all in English most of them are on in foreign languages there's one in English uh, is somewhere from West Side Story oh. And uh, we found, you know, early on in the, uh, in the first albums that singing in Spanish and Italian actually really suits our voices, for our lyric voices. Mm. So that's why, you know, it kind of has this more Latin feel sure. and uh, this kind of European continental thing. Now, is this, did you do some of this album with Barbara Streisand? Because I know that you were, you were supporting Barbara, but then you actually became part of the main act, didn't you? Because she was so impressed with you. Yeah, um, the album actually happened before then. Right. We uh, recorded that between the rehearsal period with Barbara and then the actual show dates. Um, though there is a live DVD and an album coming out of that uh, show, which we're part of. What was, she, what was she like to work with? You know, when we met her first, I've been told by the stage director that she was very, very nervous. We met her on stage, on the rehearsal stage. She actually wanted to meet us down in the dark. I you know, as well. so. <laughs> 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 um, what was she not a diva? Because well, you know, she's got a reputation of, as being a, a terrible diva. Yeah, but you know, I, I never know how much it is the person itself or the whole entourage. Because, mm. you know, I mean, if Barbara says uh, this, everyone runs, you know. Yeah. But it's a bit like me on this show. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with, all the, with all, obviously, you have lots and lots of female attention. How do you cope with that? Well, I think, you know, we, we've been taking it on a step-by-step -step basis. You know, we, we started out as nobodies and, you know, just concentrating on the music and focusing on, you know, what, what we thought would bring uh, between our four musical backgrounds, what would bring something really special. And it just, it started catching on like wildfire, you know, and our first fans started showing up and then more and then more. And I don't know, it's... It's quite amazing that it's just two years. It just seems because of your international success that you've been around for so much, so much longer than two years. You've just packed so much in. Yeah, yeah it feels a lot longer to us as well. Oh, I bet it does. I bet it does. Oh, can, I ask, can I ask a question, No, you please? can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here with a glazed look. I'm <laughs> Listen to how intelligent this is. Do you like cuddling in bed? <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw Mr. Cuddle out there yeah, in the, yeah, uh, the little pillow man. Uh, um, yeah, you know, I think there's, there is something to be said for cuddling. You know, there's, there's that time where, you know, the bedroom is the place where you're forging a bond between you and your partner. And getting in each other's space and kind of feeling comfortable, you know, cuddling is part of that. But when it comes to, like, actually sleeping, no. No. Uh, well, I'm unconscious, so I don't really know. But you, so. you four are very close, aren't you? I mean, you've been on two. Not that close. <laughs> I mean, how did you get on, though, as, as four blokes? Because you didn't know each road, other at all, did you, when you were sort of formed? No, or, or we met all each from other different countries and backgrounds. We went into the studio, <laughs> literally. No, um, 
Yeah, now we've developed over the, over the last three years a very particular and a very peculiar dynamic, which is based on, we know each other quite well through the amount of time we spend mm. together. And we just kind of figured out that we have to accept each other as we are, you know. And, I mean, we're all strong characters, so there's, there's no one who's going to tell the other one what to do or what, what to do. not to do. It's mm. just not going to happen. Not gonna and David, have you, had any mess, have you had any messy flatmates, flatmates that drive you mad? I think I was actually the messy flatmate. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I had uh, roommates in college, and uh, and I also I lived with my sister for for a period of time when I was living in Colorado, and I, I don't know I, I kind of go through cycles. Sometimes I'll leave a mess and it'll just grow and grow and grow, and then I'll just decide you know I got to clean everything Ooh, up. Don't everything say has to be <laughs> everything has to be really you know in the place and, and all cleaned up and tidy and then it'll just get messy again fantastic well listen we're going to be hearing from the boys with the other two guys from El Devo later to sing for us for the time being David Nurse <laughs>